Alice stumbles into the world of Wonderland. Will she get home? Not if the Queen of Hearts has her way. Welcome to the Walt Vault with Michelle, Andre, Louise, and me, Emily. We're a family-friendly podcast where we pick a new Disney movie each week. We watch it, share our thoughts, and then relate it to pop culture, fandoms, and anything else that pops into our heads. Enjoy! Hello and welcome to the Walt Vault, episode 57. Yeah! It's not 56. No, it's I 57. said 56. I oh. We get a little 57. confused over here in the vault. 57, uh, we can retire. Oh, we can retire already, right? Past 55? Depends. Depends on the job. Depends on your job if you're full of vested. Well, right. his parents retired at 55, so. They did. Yeah, but they were they were very smart. Yeah, they, they got their stuff Andre's together. parents got it together. Yeah. My parents still work and. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> On this episode, we are talking about 1951's animated classic, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Also, if you listened to last week's episode, guess what? I'm still sick. Seriously. Yeah. He still wait, sounds wait, wait. like nasal. Are we married? No. Well, uh, oh. wait. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow in the future i'm married yes so when this episode uh, is is coming out oh you just like inceptioned me i was real confused the no i'm not I'm married, I'm married. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna sing pop and circumstance <laughs> i'm married not really but ooh. okay so as of the moment that we are recording <laughs> this episode no one is married correct well michelle and andre aren't married <laughs> no one is married. <laughs> <laughs> no one in the world is married. As of the time no this comes one. out, I will be married. You'll so be I just inceptioned all yes. of our listeners. You'll be hecka married. Yeah. Yeah. Hecka married. No, you're not inceptioning them. You're inceptioning us. Inception. <laughs> 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 Marriage inception. Yeah, so <laughs> con- congratulations to us in the future, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and oh. and us in the past. Yeah, did this great, kid. As it comes <laughs> out. Good job, us. We did. All it. right. First you guys will actually be on your honeymoon when this comes out. See? Yes. No. Yeah. No. Uh, yes. 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 We will yes, be we will. in uh, Disneyland. So if you see us and you want to give us a wedding present, I won't object. Shut up <laughs> with your <laughs> present. You don't have to get us a wedding present at Just <laughs> Disneyland. She's not though. <laughs> but, hey, if you're at Disneyland. And wink you listen wink. to this podcast, and you see me and Michelle enjoying if our honeymoon. If you have a Club Thirty Three membership, hook us up with yes. a churro. A churro. You can't just be asking for Club Thirty Threes from people. Yeah, I can. But can like ask for whatever I want. Maybe. Churro. A churro. A birthday that's, cake that's churro. I, they think they I have. They're gonna have them there for Mickey Mouse. Oh, because it's his birthday. The Mickey Mouse. It's his birthday weekend right now. Yeah, happy so birthday, Mickey. You're 90 years old. And Minnie. It's her birthday, too. Happy birthday, Minnie. Is Nobody, she also 90? I'm pretty sure. Or is she like 88? She's 90. Like They're the same age. Are they, though? They have come the out same ex- birthday. Did Minnie come out at the exact same time? I thought yes. she came out a little bit later. No. Mm. Well, I don't know. I'll tell I just you. know they have the same yeah, birthday. Geez. I'll tell you <laughs> that nobody cares if it's Minnie's birthday because I ain't seen nobody post about her. <laughs> it's Minnie's birthday, too. I swear. It First appearance of Minnie Mouse, Steamboat Willie, November 18th, 1928. Boom. Happy birthday, Minnie. Yep. <laughs> so nobody cares about her. Everyone's just like, Aww. Mickey. Happy birthday, Minnie. Mm. You, you deserve all the birthday Rock those love as dots. Well. Rock those Rock dots. Rock those dots. Andre Rock and I are uh, Disney bounding as Minnie and Mickey when we go to Steakhouse 55 for our honeymoon dinner. Boom. Just so you know. <laughs> just because so it, you know. it's their birthday so yeah pictures to come yes, yes. let's we'll talk be, we'll about this movie that i already forgot what are we watching alice, alice in, wonderland. in the wonderland excuse me what the did we watch reason, <laughs> i will tell you right now that the only reason i kind of like alice in the wonderland is because <laughs> the only reason let's she backtrack says. i have a story oh, oh so oh. <laughs> there was a time when i was like 40 pounds lighter <laughs> and did this thing Thought called she was say 40 years and I younger. did this thing called a Miss California USA pageant. I don't know why I did it, but I did. Hey, I was there. Emily was there. And I, I was wasn't in the pageant. I was I watching. I looked good. But this is pre-Andre. <laughs> I was not there. And it, it was pre no bangs too. Mm, yeah, oh bangs, yes, bangs I had bangs. Were <laughs> bangs were a foot and I was extremely <laughs> blonde. <laughs> good times. Get to the point, the point of the story, please. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, when we had our, like, uh, we had to go, like, a couple weeks before for, like, an orientation, and people were there 
Oh, I think I told this story already about my chin. You did, but t- retell it. Wow. People were there from Disneyland, and they took pictures of our faces to see if we could be Disney princesses, and they said no. But they did tell me that based on my height, that the only two people I could be <laughs> were Tinkerbell and dun, 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 Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> so whenever I see Tinkerbell slash Alice in Wonderland in the park, I get excited only for that reason because I'm like, yeah, I could be you. <laughs> I could only be if you. I had a chin, you. which I don't. <laughs> Alas. Alas, chin. They're apparently the shortest uh, female park characters. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Alice is a child. She was like... Uh, She's like 11? Seven? Seven? I think in the book she's supposed to be like seven. Oh. Uh, she's based off an 11-year-old in real life. I know that. Yeah, I was going to say I thought it was 11. All right, first impressions upon this watching, Andre. You were pretty excited. I was having a good time watching this movie. 51? 51, right? Was that the year? Okay, yes. go on, I'm sorry. Um, I was totally alive. <laughs> Andre was having a grand time watching this movie, yeah, and I, I was shaking my head. I was having a lot of fun watching this movie upon this upon this viewing. I haven't watched this movie in a while, um, probably since I was a kid. I don't remember. And I used to watch it a fair amount as a kid. I don't know, maybe a couple of times. Um, but upon this viewing, I had I had a lot of fun. It was it was very funny to me <laughs> the the entire movie, uh, how silly it was, and uh, yeah, I liked it. Good stuff. My first impression is I I love the ride at Disneyland. That's not the movie. <laughs> Therefore, I was like, okay, I'm going to see if I like this movie. I don't really remember it as a child that much, which is weird because upon this viewing, I remembered more than I thought I did. I was like, oh, yeah, like I, I do remember this. I didn't remember everything, but quite a bit. And it's just weird. Like you have to be in the mood to watch a weird movie that's whimsy. Um, and then it's enjoyable. So... That starts off not so great to me, and then by the end of it, I, I'm, I'm liking it. So that's my first impression is it grows on you, I guess. <laughs> it grows on you, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Emily, first impression. Uh, my first impression is I'm pretty darn sure that I've never watched this movie completely. Ah. Really? From, fr- from beginning to end. Start to finish. Because there were parts where I was like, what no, is what is happening? No, right. I have no idea. Like absolutely no None. idea. Um, and the only reason I knew some things was not even in reference to this movie. It was either like live action oh. things yeah. that I was like, oh, I, I see how that kind of plays over. Or in choir uh-huh. in high school, <gasps> we sang. I want to say it was like maybe my junior. I sang year. that song too. Did you sing it? And it yes. was like Which song? all Mimsy were the Bora Groves. Yes, so I sang that. Too. So I told Luke, I told song. Andre this. So the song, I don't know what it's called. It's like the poem um, that the Cheshire Cat was like reciting. Yes. yes. But it's but it's an actual poem, but it was made and into the this like <laughs> <laughs> I remember the bases did that. But yeah. it's like a super interesting song. And so when we watched the live action Alice in Wonderland a couple of years ago, that one is much more based on like this poem. The poem right. yes. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I know about like the Tolji Wood and the blah 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 and all this stuff. <laughs> so it was more like I knew the song and the poem than I did the movie. Mm. I said that to Andre too. I was like, I sang this song. Yeah. Um, and he was like, what are you talking about? I was like, oh, I can't really explain it, but it was a song. I remember thinking it was really weird then and it was it was weird now. You know but what? Did we sing it? Was it like an honor choir thing maybe? Maybe we were in an honor choir the same year or something. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Anyway. Michelle and, um, and my, mine and Michelle's lives have intermixed many times and Since we didn't we realize it. It's very weird. Right. Pubescent children <laughs> apparently. Pre- prepubescent. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least me, I was a, I was a prepubescent <laughs> child. Um, so yeah, um, it, my my first impression was all right, mm. like not great, yeah. not bad. Um, I had some I had some interesting like questions I wanted to ask like Walt Disney, I guess, <laughs> um, about the storyline. But it's funny because then I did a lot of digging on like the original book, mm-hmm. and it actually kind of answered my questions. Yeah. It just didn't answer it like from the movie telling sort of like right. s- like point of view. Yeah. Anywho, so we'll get into that. There's definitely no explanation. Like if you just came into it, you know nothing about the Alice in Wonderland books. You know nothing about how weird they are, and you just watch this. Your first impression would probably be like, what? Like, literally, because they don't explain that much. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, here's Alice falling down a hole into this weird world, which I I like. I like parts of it. But like I said, the the beginning of the movie, 
like up until she finally got on land i was like what's happening like i was just very didn't really remember that part mm-hmm. i must have pushed it out of my brain but then when she starts meeting like cheshire cat and yeah. the flowers and stuff like that i was like oh okay yeah i know this like i like all this part but it's just okay. it's all over the place man yeah a little bit. it's a it's a, a very steady pace of uh nonsense weird that's stuff the point it's supposed on. to be whimsy yeah. and nonsense and i i should have mentioned this in my first impression but like um this movie is featured heavily in the Kingdom Hearts games, and so like the Alice in Wonderland level, uh, I remember that more than I do the movie. Mm. For sure. So when certain things were happening in the movie, he was like, "It's just like Kingdom Hearts," yeah. and I was like, "Oh, exactly. I don't know." Uh, but I gotta solve puzzles in this room. He's like, "I gotta <laughs> get through this door, but I'm small and the keys on the table." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta go up there. I gotta eat the potion. I gotta get big. I gotta fight the Heartless. I gotta do all the stuff. He was very excited. Just like <laughs> Alice. Yeah. Just like that. Just like Alice. So, I will, hold on. Let's start, like, beginning, beginning, beginning. Like, even before she goes down the, the rabbit, rabbit hole. hole. Because that, I didn't remember that scene. Like I said, no. I don't, I didn't remember With that scene cat. whatsoever. So, I feel like it was very telling as to why she ended up in, like, this totally nonsensical world. So, she's, at first, I thought it was just, like, some lady just reading. And Alice was just, like, on <laughs> just a tree listening. Out. No, it was supposed to be a history lesson, and I'm mm-hmm. assuming it's like her tutor or maybe her mom. It's in the book. It's know. supposed to be her sister. Okay. Um, so I assume it's her sister in the in the movie as well. Basically, they just someone like giving her a history lesson. Yeah. So she's yes. reading this, and it's funny because in the tone and the and the cadence that this lady is reading this book to her, it's the most uninteresting, right? Totally ridiculous thing. And yeah. I too, just like Alice, was like don't care yeah. like scratching my neck Man, it was awful, awful. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bad story it, it's a bad history lesson so she's sitting there and she immediately is like nope if i was in my own world it, this would not be like this it would be the opposite that book ain't even got no pictures what am i supposed to pay attention to that book exactly so everything would be nonsense that's i think she says that yeah like, so nonsense. i kind of appreciate that because then it, it gets you into the fact that like she's gonna see some weird stuff right. when she falls Alice, down this hole Alice is weird so she's she's like like a like an oddball little girl. She's like, oh, there'd be all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, she reminds there. you. Got to use your imagination. She reminds mm-hmm. me of uh, the girl from Harry Potter, Luna. Yeah, Lovegood? yeah. She's just a little bit odd. Yeah. Ask me all about it. We're watching the marathon right now. Oh yeah, oh, nice. I saw that. Yes, it's so. Uh, yeah, she reminds I mean. me of that. She's just a little bit of an oddball, and she has this like airy voice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. It's always a little bit out of tune when she's singing her songs. Cool. <laughs> yeah, when she's a kid. I, no, they made, they go. I very much believe that, like, she's a child. Oh, for sure. Know. They did a good yeah. job with that part of it. Um, so, so she's totally uninterested in what's happening in real life. She doesn't, she doesn't think that anything is worth her time, and so she, she gets distracted because she sees this rabbit running by. Yeah. With a pocket watch. She and a like sing, waistcoat. Does she <laughs> sing a little song with her cat. Or she, she does. She does. Um, yeah, yeah. Sing a little song with her cat about, and she just literally walks away from her teacher. Yeah. I was like, okay, great yeah, job, teacher, like, like getting her child back on track. <laughs> yeah. Here. So then she sees a rabbit in a in a waistcoat, mm-hmm. and it's like, what? There's no rabbit. And then there was a rabbit. Mm-hmm. So she just follows it. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Down a rabbit hole. You know, I thought he was a lot more prominent in this movie than, like, I know she's always, like, chasing after him, but he's really not, like, that super important, the White Rabbit. He's just got somewhere to be, and she's very interested in yeah. what could possibly be going on with this rabbit. Well, I think it's because she doesn't have anywhere to be, like, in real life other than right. sitting under this tree. So for her, it's like, well, he sounds like he has something important to do. Yeah. Let's go figure it out. Let's check out what yeah. he's up to. But it, it's even more interesting that she... Even though she's seeing all of this other crazy, wild nonsense, she's always hyper focused on <laughs> this rabbit, rabbit has got somewhere to be. <laughs> I I have to see what what's going on. And here. honestly, when she gets down there, there's definitely the least weird thing happening, but she's still really exactly. interested like in this. Like it's like the, the most normal thing going thing on. Happening it's like sure. this rabbit is late for work or whatever. <laughs> yeah, she starts. <laughs> what is your job, sir? <laughs> she very calmly falls down the rabbit hole. Like I'm sorry if I fell down a hole, I'd be like, ah! she's just like. Goodbye to her cat. Like <laughs> cat waves back. I guess I'll see Dinah, you later. Right? Dinah. Yeah. Bye, Goodbye, Dinah. Dinah. <laughs> she's falling down. There's just things happening around her, and she's just very calm about it. Chairs, a lot of furniture. Yeah, yeah it's she's like just uh, it's like a hallway, but vertical. Yeah. Rather than and then she just already starts saying weird stuff like, 
about being upside down and la la la. And I'm like, this girl's got a weird brain, right? So she gets to the <laughs> ground and then she's chasing after the white rabbit. And this is where we meet the door, which I like the door. The like door I now, remember yeah. the door a lot as a kid. Um, I don't really know if he has a name, so I'm going to call him the door. Knob. Knob. Yeah, Nobby. 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 Instead of Dolby. Nobby. <laughs> Nobby. And he's got a... <laughs> I never realized he's not a jerk, but the things he... I'd be real annoyed with him because he's like, you can't fit through here. Um, you're much too big. So go and, uh, you know, there's a cookie up there. And she eats a cookie, right? And then she gets small. And then he's like, oh, I'm locked. And then the key just appears on the table. I'm like, you didn't tell her that before. That's <laughs> rude. I would have been so annoyed with him. I would have been crying like Alice, too. I'd be like, you suck, Nobby. Mm. I like the cookies. I want to eat one of the cookies. They look delicious. Yeah. That's why people have Alice in Wonderland themed tea times and they eat cookies. Right. Keep me. I will. <laughs> 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 I will. I will. <coughs> and then she like drinks. Is, does she drink the elixir first and then eat the cookie or does she eat the cookie and then drink the elixir? I think she eats the cookie first. No, she eats. No, the elixir makes her small. The cookie makes her big. Yeah, because every time she eats something, she gets real cray big. Mm. But either way, she she eat, she she shrinks, she grows multiple times. But it's funny because <laughs> we'll talk about this later too. But she starts crying when she gets too big because then she realizes she's like gigantor. Mm -hmm. Like she can't pick up the key, she can't get through <laughs> the door. She's just too big, and she starts crying, and she cries so much so fast that she creates an ocean. Yeah, uh, <laughs> hilarious. Salty rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Which is really gross. And then, uh, <laughs> salty rain. <laughs> and then, the, then the, it turns into the salty sea, which I guess is less gross because it's normal. It's fine because she <laughs> finds the bottle again and she drinks it and then she falls in the bottle mm -hmm. and then gets through the door, right? The poor door has to drink all her tears. It's so sad. So, this is where I just don't remember much once she got past the door. Like, I don't remember there being a giant ocean that she's just floating on with weird creatures I swimming by. And she's like, hello, help me. And no one's paying attention to her. And then there's like a weird uh, bird thingy. It's a dodo bird. It's a dodo. Oh, yeah, yeah a dodo. And he's uh, he's leading a march uh, to help get these these fish dry. And they're, they're, they're going around in a circle. You know, they're trying their hardest to get dry. And the, but the, that tide just keeps coming in, <laughs> getting them wet. See, They're not to gonna move. Just like They're just not, gonna stand there. And I don't try know. Get dry. It, uh, so I'm gonna spoil the movie right now in an effort to enhance the conversation. All of this is taking place in Alice's dream. Yeah, yes. she's just dreaming. Yeah. So the 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 merits of her adventure, uh, like if if she just fell down a rabbit hole and happened to find all of this stuff down there. It, it does make it like extremely weird, but looking through this as a lens through her subconscious makes it a little bit more c concrete to me. So yeah. you know these fish can't get dry. That's that's just a frustrating thing, and she's trying to explain to them that that will never, that you'll never get dry. Your fish. Well, and think <laughs> about like the the what's the definition of insanity? Like right, doing just the, same to the same thing over and, thing and over, expecting different results. And like you said, it's a fish. It's mm -hmm. always gonna be wet. Yes. Like it has to be wet. Correct. Um, and then the same thing kind of like with the oysters, like mm -hmm. in the walrus the story. The walrus and the carpenter. <laughs> like they're weird together. It doesn't particularly make sense, but it's juxtaposo uh, ju juxtaposing like two different archetypes. Mm -hmm. Oysters, you're going to get eaten either way. Right. Stay in the ocean, don't stay in the ocean, like you're going to get eaten. Mm -hmm. But here's, it's interesting that you bring that up because while I was watching this movie, I didn't know if she was sleeping or not. Right. I didn't. So, And I thought to myself, she has to be dreaming mm -hmm. because this is not actually happening. It never crossed my mind till the end. I, like, kind of forgot that she was sleeping. Well, I... That I ha I was I was rationalizing. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, this right. girl has to be sleeping. So that was my first thing. But then my second thing, and this is where the kind of like extra digging kind of made everything more interesting to me, was I thought to myself, this is probably a parallel to things that happen in her real life. Mm -hmm. Like this dodo bird is someone in her life right. who she feels like is teaching her something that doesn't make sense. So yes. then maybe that's the sister or this teacher lady. Right. Yeah. Right. And then Tweedledee and Tweedledum are like, I don't know, her stupid sisters. I don't know. <laughs> right. Like, a double like brothers they're like they're that. doubling as people who are in her actual life. Mm -hmm. um, like kind of like um, Wizard of Oz. Yes. Exactly. How yeah. Everyone yeah. in the in the dreamland are people who are in her actual life. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of kept thinking that, but then when you get out of her dream, the movie's over. Right, yeah. It doesn't It doesn't expound upon no, any, you, you any get, of her real life at yeah, all. Yeah, no, we don't know. Like, are these real people? They probably are. And it's weird because I never think of it in terms of a dream. 
mm, I always think of it as just like a fantasy realm. Like it really is down there. There's just like this weird fantasy realm and they have like their own laws and their own regulations and the Queen of Hearts. But I don't know if that's just because I've watched the live action one like so many times. That Which I'm like, is more this like this is that a real world. It's not a dream. Yeah. So that's just like what's in my mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, and it's funny because when I when I started reading more about like the the original book, so, so Lewis Carroll, which that's his what do you call that? That's his, his uh, pen, name, pen name, right? Yeah. So he was a mathematician, um, and yeah, <laughs> and so it like during I think it was like the 19th century, and he was he was very conservative in his math approach mm -hmm. and this was the time when a lot of the abstract numbers and letters were coming into math okay. and things and he was like this is stupid like that is not how like right. geometry works Doesn't right so for him he was like he was interested but also kind of like revolted at like this abstract thought okay so that's kind of like where some of these weird like it doesn't make sense like riddles in the in the book and in right. the like poems come from Just but making up words and right stuff. But then he became really close to the dean of his college, I guess, and hit one of his he had three daughters. One mm. of them was Alice. Okay. And he was he went on like a boating trip with them or something over the summer and he started telling them adventures and Alice became like the middle of the story. Mm. And so these stories kind of were winding up based on their lives. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So the the three girls. So all the things that they interacted with, mm -hmm. like their teachers, their families, their yeah. parents and things, right. became like the center of their story. So then that kind of made me feel like, okay, it makes more sense now. Yes. I just wish that we had gotten a little bit like of a weird backstory. Just It could have been five minutes right. in, of like Alice's movie. weird life. Yeah. Which is, or, I get it. Or overly normal life exactly. to make it like to weird. Make it, to make her wild imagination But the then opposite. you would just yeah. have it figured out and you wouldn't be able to, you know... I guess. Just be like, wait, what? You know what I mean? Which yeah. Which is kind of the sure. feeling I have. It's weird because once it got past Tweedledee and Tweedledum, then I was like a little bit more accepting of it. I was like, okay, this is fine now. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe just because I knew like the later on characters more. Sure. But I was like, this is fine. So when she does meet Tweedledee and Tweedledum, I don't remember hating them <laughs> because I hated them. I did not like them at all. <laughs> Oh, please, do <laughs> not do that was perfect. that <laughs> sound. I'm going to punch you. And I you. think it's because you're sick, so you're extra nasally. Yeah, it yeah, sounds yeah, like yeah. a horn, really. I, I, um, <laughs> I ran a half... <laughs> shut. <laughs> I'm going to punch you. I ran a half marathon at Disneyland, and I was Tweedledee. My sister was Tweedledum, and my mom was Tweedledumber. And like we dressed <laughs> up like as them. <laughs> but... I I never would have done that had I known they were so annoying. Like, I did not like them. Oh, see, I remember not liking them as a kid. But I, I disliked them less as an adult. Yeah. Like, I kind of was like, all yeah, right. Oh, I like them. they they're were silly. annoying to me. I didn't they're like just it. Little they are annoying, but they're... they're Purposefully annoying. Yeah, they're telling stories, you know? They're, uh, they're just out there hanging out in the woods, they just standing want, completely they just want still, company. <laughs> like statues. That's the sad part, is that they literally have no one to talk to, mm -hmm. and they're just like, please let me tell you a story. <laughs> it's really weird. How sad. I don't know. They just were not my favorite. I didn't like them. And I know the reason I didn't like them is because my dad always used to sing that walrus in the carpenter song to us when we were kids. And I'm like, no, they're going to tell the story. No. <laughs> <laughs> Which to me, I was like, why? Why did we need this scene? Like, I just didn't care about it. Mm -hmm. And I still don't. Like, it comes on. I get it. It's a cute little story. Like, if you just had like a little children's book called The Walrus and the Carpenter, cool. I'm sure there is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But in the sense of the movie, Alice is just sitting there listening to them tell this story, which I was just annoyed by. And I was like, I don't need to know the story. I'm trying to go get the white rabbit right now. Like, <laughs> which is probably how she felt a little yeah, bit. Yeah, she was impatient with them. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I like the Walrus and the Carpenter story. Uh, it, it's very f funly, funly. It's, it's animated in a very fun way where... Yeah, it, it, it cuts away from Alice and Tweedledee and Tweedledum completely. And then it just goes into They're just narrating these, it, these yeah. new these new characters, the walrus, who when I was a kid, I always imagined the walrus as being like a very important man. Mm -hmm. Like he had on his suit and his hat and his gloves and he's walking around and he's like bossing around this carpenter guy. But upon this viewing, I'm realizing that the 
Walrus is like a hobo. He, he All of his clothes are like ripped up and he's been on the streets. And he's just begging or whatever and he's very hungry. Yeah, they live like in the just like the sandy area that's like trashed. So the carpenter's like, we can clean this up. And yeah, he's we, like, can, we no. can go to work. He's like, <laughs> and the no. walrus is like, are you insane? I will never work a day in my life. Let's get some food. <laughs> and so How does that sound to you guys? <laughs> also, just everything's half light and half dark, just so you know. Another thing that bugs me. The See, middle I just of the night. Because it's the middle. It's the middle of the night, so it's night over here. It's daytime over it. here. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Where my dad used to sing this song to get me out of bed or something. I'm like, no. <laughs> no to send the carpenter. Yeah, so they're they're on a they're on a uh, mission to get some oysters. And once again, when I was a kid, I didn't like understand that they were gonna eat them. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't you get didn't? that. No, oh, I did. Not, not when I was super young. So I was like, they eat. They're going down. They're hanging out with the oysters. The oysters are all cute. They're like, oysters, come with us. We're gonna go up here. They build up this. They didn't nice even listen to their grandma. Their grandma <laughs> was like, no, I'll don't care with them. Here. It's only botch, <laughs> or whatever. It's not um, time for oysters it's yet. It's not time for oysters yet. So. They go, they go up into the boat, and all the oysters get their little uh, bibs. Their little bibs put on. I was like, oh, yeah, everybody's going to eat. This is great. And then <laughs> the carpenter goes into the other room, and the walrus is just the most evil man, and he takes all of the oysters and gobbles them up good. And so they got get. They got got. <laughs> and so in my mind as a kid, when the carpenter comes back out and he's all angry that the walrus ate all the oysters, I was like, oh, man, the walrus just killed that carpenter's new friends. <laughs> he's a monster. I can't believe he would do that. But now I'm realizing it's like, you ate all my oysters, dude. We was going to share. What happened? We yeah. were friends before no, this. They, well, and I, I knew they were going to eat And them. let's be honest. Like, the carpenter made up some, like, good-looking, like, dipping sauces. Yeah. And he had bread. Yeah, and butter. It, was all, mm-hmm. it looked delicious. It was going to be good. Walrus eating all his <laughs> walrus yummies. Ate, ate all of them. The moral of the story, don't be friends with walruses. Yeah. Is that is that the is that the moral to that story? I have no idea what the moral of the story the is. The moral of the story is uh Yeah, I guess don't be friends with the walrus don't or share your food. Or, <laughs> you know, be prepared for the worst, I guess. <laughs> Listen to your grandma. <laughs> yeah, listen, don't listen to your grandma. Don't hang out with walruses or carpenters because they will eat. I you. just remember hating that scene, and upon this viewing, I was like, okay, okay, it's fine, but I just still don't like it. They're trying to get you to clean up the beaches and not eat oysters. <laughs> yeah, <my> gosh. <laughs> Put and then thank together. goodness it was over. And then the Tweedledee and Tweedledum try to tell her another story, and she bounces. She's, She's like, goodbye. Mm-hmm. So then nope. she sees <laughs> the white rabbit in his house. Right? Oh, stop the. I did not remember this scene at all. I had None zero recollection. You, you never ha- seen the where, where Alice is so big in the house. I've seen a picture. I've seen pictures and sure. memes of it, but I have never ever in my life recollected. Oh, her I remember being the lizard house. hardcore and it's freaking hilarious. Oh no, this was funny. I yeah. really huh. liked this. this scene. I great. love the lizard. I remember the lizard, and then I remember asking my parents like when he shot off in the sky. Like, Hold on, can oh. we wait? We don't you pass the lizard. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> continue, continue, Andre. So uh, Alice shows up at the the house of the white rabbit. The white rabbit is still late. Looking for something. <laughs> he's looking for something. What is he looking for? Eh, something. Hey, also, he's looking for a person. He's like, uh, what's her Marianne. name? Marianne. Marianne. <laughs> he says it in the most I'm wondering if that's like his wife. He's like, where's Marianne? <laughs> yeah, he, if he was treating his wife like that, then it's uh, not a great relationship. But um, <laughs> I don't Remember know. Remember that, Andre? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Marianne. <laughs> Michelle. Oh, I'm going to punch you in the <laughs> um, So... Alice shows up. The white rabbit thinks that Alice is Marianne. <laughs> and then they, what do they do? She goes inside the house. To find whatever it is To he's find what he's for. looking for. And then she just starts snooping. She's like, oh, what's this over here? What's this over here? Oh, hey, there's cookies that say eat me again. So uh, I guess I better eat those because that's obviously specifically for me, even though I've never been Alice. here. Alice. <laughs> she eats the cookie, grows to a ginormous size. And is in still inside the house, so her arms and legs are popping out the sides. So funny! <laughs> it's it was very so, that fun. was very funny. It's a funny. very funny image. The dodo bird comes by because the white rabbit starts freaking out. The dodo bird comes by. He's like, "Oh, whoa! This is right. We gotta fix this." And so, the They're literally, she's like, "There's a monster!" Yes, they think they 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 consider the house a monster now because Alice is in it, and uh, which does look pretty scary. It is. Pr- it is it. fairly like, monstrous. She's leg. not doing anything, but you know. <laughs> 
It's just, it's, that's not the way a house is supposed to look, I guess. Uh, so the Dodo's like, okay, well, we can get this lizard dude over here to help us. What's the lizard's name? <laughs> Bill. Was Bill, Bill, yes. <laughs> hey, Bill. Because he has a ladder. <laughs> yeah, he's a lizard with a ladder. That's right. We need a lizard with a ladder. <laughs> and so he's a, this very British man named Bill comes up. <laughs> and he's like, what's going on? He's like, Bill, we need you and your ladder to get up there, <laughs> clean out this monster for us. And he's like, what? <laughs> and so, Poor Bill. And so he goes up there. He's like, don't you want to be famous for cleaning chimney? like in monstrous <laughs> proportions or something he's <laughs> like oh yes yeah i guess so uh he goes up <laughs> there she opens the window he sees her face and starts screaming starts losing freaking it. out like, losing yeah, it a lizard with a ladder who's losing it and uh he starts trying to run away and then how does he get blasted out of the house i don't remember she sneezes <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, because he tries. He tries. He to tries like, to to clean out the chimney, and then it gets all the smoke. It gets and the all ash the soot, soot into soot. into the house and up Alice's nose. She sneezes and blasts it, poor Bill, <laughs> into the sky, and he never Forever. comes down. He's Bill. gone. He went straight to the moon, <laughs> wouldn't Alice. Been, wouldn't it be <laughs> funny if Bill came down like seven scenes later? <laughs> I thought it would have been. Funny. She's <laughs> like, wandering around the forest, and he just <laughs> plops right next to her. Like seriously. <laughs> That would have been funny. I don't that even remember funny. how she gets small. I think she just eats something again. Oh, she okay. So here's this is what's funny. Then the dodo bird's like, "We'll just smoke her." You know, out. we gotta smoke her out. <laughs> this is the best. This is our best plan of action. We gotta burn your house down. And the, and the white rabbit's like, "Yeah, okay, we'll burn my." Wait, no. <laughs> Which is so funny because his house was so cute. Like every yeah. single thing in the house was a was a uh, rabbit. Right, as a rabbit. Like, it was everything, all, everything was, was all shaped as a rabbit. Oh, it was so cute. His little <laughs> clock and his little all the chairs, chairs and everything. Mm. So the dodo bird starts getting all of his crap <laughs> all his <laughs> furniture and he's gonna smoke them out and then alice sees like a garden and she's like well you know if i oh, eat yes, this yes. maybe if i eat something else mm-hmm. which she's lucky that she didn't grow twice as right. twice as yeah. big um so she eats like a carrot or something yeah it's a carrot it's the rabbit's <gasps> carrot and he, he and freaks like, out about no! that too he's like you don't eat me <laughs> <laughs> i'm not trying to eat you i'm trying to eat your carrot <laughs> Uh, and she gets small, and then they don't even know it's her. They're like, "Oh, what are you doing here? Didn't you hear there's a monster? Get out!" <laughs> She's like, "Okay, come on." They're, they're like, "Hello, miss. How you doing?" Like, there's a monster. And the rabbit's still late, so he just runs off. He's the like, rabbit oh, runs okay, off. Goodbye. The dodo is like, "I guess I gotta burn this house down now." <laughs> <laughs> so he proceeds to burn her house, the rabbit's down, house down. I guess. Um, I don't know what he does. He's chilling. Yeah. He just we don't see him again, right? That yeah, yeah. At the end, he, he comes back at the end, I believe. Oh God, I don't um, remember. That was the thing that I noticed about this movie is that especially for the first like 45 minutes or whatever, every character is just like in one scene and yeah. that's it. Like th- she goes through, she sees the doorknob, that's the doorknob yeah. done. She goes through, she sees the dodo, dodo's done and mm-hmm. she moves on. And, and it was, it, it's interesting that so many of those characters have become like iconic, yeah. even though they're only in like one, maybe two scenes. Like seven Not all minutes. of them though. Like you don't hear anybody talking about the dodo, you yeah, know what I, I mean? Well, but funny. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, they're only in one scene and you know, they're, they're, they're all pretty popular. Yeah, but it's interesting because apparently the dodo bird is supposed to be like the um, like incarnation of Lewis Carroll because oh, okay. apparently That's his real name is like Dodgson or something is is the last name like his actual real last name. Oh, okay, and um, or dog D O D G S O N. Yeah, Dodgson. And so apparently he had a he had a um, stammer. When he talked, okay. so he would say da 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 shit. <laughs> so then he was, <laughs> then they called him Dodo. Dodo. So then mm. he be kind of came like the, ah. like the. She, he's not really a narrator, but like he kind of yeah. comes in right. and like moves the scene along. Yes. Yeah. So I thought that was interesting too. That is interesting. That is interesting. But anywho, so then then do we go to the flowers? Yes, and the flowers is my next. favorite theme. So Are you sure that's the next one? Yeah. The flowers oh, is the next. well, there's like the signs, and it's like. No, I guess there's no signs yet. I, I get confused after. about like Absalom and like the flowers. Yeah. It, did they even call him that in this movie? I don't it, think they call him in that. In my notes, the flowers are next. Okay. Which is my favorite scene. Well. My favorite scene. <laughs> so Alice shows up into this uh, it's beautiful. flower I think that's bed. why I like it. Yeah. So she's small now, right? I, or I guess Yeah, she was smaller. small when she came out of the house. Yeah. She like had to climb down his like front step. That's right, yeah. So she's small now. She goes into this flower bed. All the flowers are her size and bigger mm-hmm. and uh she's walking through and the flowers start talking to her and she's like well this is nonsense flowers can't talk mm-hmm. okay i was just the size of a house but there's no way a flower could ever talk to me <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's cool i'm only chasing after a <laughs> rabbit no big deal and all the flowers are are very cool there's like a there's like a uh what is it a horse 
horsefly. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a rocking horse. Rocking horsefly. And then there's the uh bread and butterflies. That one's really <laughs> funny. <laughs> there's the lazy daisy. Mm. I'll try to be a lazy daisy. I like the uh, uh what it's like a dog. It's is it a dog? Um. Yeah, the, the, little, like the little white one, and it barks. What is it supposed to be, though? I don't know. I don't know the n- enough Let names of flower. Uh, there's me. the dandelions. Yes. Who are actual lions. That That's what I'm thinking about. He was, was a lion da- because oh, okay. he was like, Rah! Yes. <laughs> oh. and then, uh, you could tell we're totally, we know everything about these Alice right, in Wonderland yeah, flowers, goodness right? Goodness gracious. Um, but there's, they are hilarious. But there's a bunch of them. And so they start, um, they start singing... Uh, one of the best songs in the movie, The Golden Afternoon. I think it's the best song. That I, was my favorite. I love this song. And I was thinking about it. I was like, I love this song because it's like a choral song. Yes. And like, I would love to to sing it. Yeah. But then I was thinking in my brain, like, wait, I probably saw this movie before I was ever in a choir. Yeah. So I wonder if this song is made me like. Choral music. Choral music in yeah. the first place. So this is a slow inception of my own. <laughs> in music inception. Music inception. In the golden afternoon. So here we go. This is what this is what she sees. She sees a rose, an iris, a daisy. Those are the lazy daisies. The pansies, tulips, sweet peas, a blue bonnet, a violet, a calla lily, a lily of the valley, a lilac, sunflowers, chrysanthemums. Morning glories, daffodils, the tiger lily, a dandelion, um, the white rose, which is like the really the fancy rose. one. Yeah, she's the she's the she's the, fancy. Beyonce, she's the, super she's the fancy. Beyonce of the group. Yes, a thistle, yellow daisies, a rosebud, and then the dandy pup. I think that's the, the dandy little pup. Yes, yeah, that's what the, little, the barking one was. But it's just so funny because I agree with you. This this song is it's well. First off, visually, it's very yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's great. The animation all the flowers is cool. singing. It's very well written, the song, yes. and it just makes sense. I, I don't know why it makes sense for flowers to sing, but it does. And this is literally like the best scene in the movie. I love this scene. Well, yeah. you know, it's funny because it reminds me, this particular scene, and there was one other one that now I can't remember, mm-hmm. but it reminds me of Fantasia. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's definitely a scene like could be ripped right out of Fantasia or yeah. plopped directly into Fantasia. Well, especially like at the end where like the flowers start beating on the other flowers <laughs> yes. and like the lights come up through the little flower like bulbs. Mm-hmm. I'm like that is so Fantasia. Yeah. Lights <laughs> yeah. and music and animation and I all. love it. But it but not in a bad way cuz Fantasia sometimes scares me. I don't know why it scared me as a kid, but It's got some scary stuff in there. Uh, Even the Fanta- beginning. Cuz Fantasia is Chernabog. I, I told you I've never seen the Chernabog part because we would. Uh, you never get there. <laughs> no, we turn it off before it got there. Uh, I still, as an adult, I've never seen Chernabog. Dude, I know Chernabog. who he is. Chernabog's my fave. Well, I'm, sh- I'm he's sure cool. he's like Batman. He's Batman <laughs> gargoyle. Yeah, dude. But the scene is so great, and then yes. I just love at the end when the flowers are like, "What kind of flower are you?" And she's <laughs> the, like, I'm "The flowers turn on her quick. They're like, oh, we sang her a little song.' And it's uh, so funny because <laughs> sassy. So I'm thinking in my head like, ooh. I know that th- I knew that they got on her. Mm-hmm. I knew that like they turn on her, but I'm thinking like they're so nice, right? And then like immediately they start making <laughs> fun of the song her. Song is over. Like, what kind of flower are you? You ain't a flower. You're a weed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I think it is so funny. And then it, I'm just assuming like all of these the high schoolers, yeah, they went mean flowers girls are all like her Alice. school children that are just like super mean to her i guess i don't know they're like this is what you're supposed to be and you weird right. girl but it's so funny and then they it's just like kick her out they're like get out of here yeah get out of here we we want you playing your well, roots and getting weeds all up in our flower bed. i like how they like <laughs> i'm like looking at like her stems and yeah. they're like pulling up her dress yeah. like what's under there like oh my god that was great. She, Give she literally threatens him she's like if i was bigger i'd pick you all <laughs> i was like oh snap she went there get she was balance. like i'm gonna pick you guys oh, i think she says pluck them too i'm like oh Mm-hmm. Get but out your fine. tweezers, girl. She escapes and she goes and thorn. meets the <laughs> A-I-O-U. The caterpillar. With his little Aladdin shoes. A- yes, <laughs> yes, I didn't remember his, his six Aladdin, Aladdin shoes. shoes. So Ooh, cute. Are you? And his hookah. And his hookah. Yeah. It's interesting. You know, he's not my favorite like character of the movie, I don't think. like He's, he's interesting and he like serves a part. Didn't remember him turning into a butterfly. I was like, what? I, I, I remember that. I remember that. I didn't vaguely. remember that. I actually um, don't know if I remember that. I think I intuitively knew that because I watched the other one. Sure. Oh, okay. Right, the live action one. Yeah. Um, but he's cool because he he smokes everything he says. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a heavy smoker. He yeah. 
Yes. The dude got a bunch of little caterpillar lungs. I don't know if he he's got. He's contributing to our air quality problem. I don't know right if now. caterpillars have more lungs than <laughs> than humans. Just like <laughs> I got more legs, but uh, he's they a, he's have a, as many lungs as they have legs. <laughs> he's a heavy smoker. Oh my god. Uh, just, he's interesting. And it's his. It's the animation is really cool. That whatever he says turns into either a letter or like a little like a little cartoon of, mm-hmm. of what he's talking about. Like when Which is funny because I didn't think about that. And then it turns into a knot. Yeah, yeah. That was good. I really enjoyed that part. And I actually was paying more attention to like the smoke mm-hmm. yeah. than I was to yeah, him to because him. the smoke was really well done. Exactly. And I like how eventually it like hits her and she's like. <laughs> 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 oh, and then, then she just like leaves him. She's like, goodbye. Like it gets stuck oh. to her shoes and he, and he starts like yelling at her. He has a he has a temper. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's got a temper. But it's basically because she won't introduce herself. She, she, she he asks yeah, her who like, she is she like weird? a million times, and she never says, "Oh, I'm Alice. I'm a girl, and I came from a rabbit hole or whatever." Well, I think it's because she just got taunted yeah, she from got those chastised flowers. Chastised by those flowers, she was a little traumatized at that moment. So she's like, "I ain't telling nobody who I am." <laughs> yeah, but then he calls her back, and doesn't he give her some advice? I can't remember. He tells her about the mushrooms. Yeah, he said, "If you want to, if you because she was a she." He gets mad at her because she said that she's sick of being three inches tall. Right. And he says, I'm exactly. <laughs> and he's he's way taller than her when he stands up on all two legs or whatever. <laughs> uh, but he gets very upset about her calling out his height. He's How like, I'm a big boy. dare you? Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you can't he's be little. He's compensating with that hookah. He's very upset. <laughs> He's three inches tall, mm-hmm. and so he's like, well, just so you know, if you eat one side of the mushroom, you'll grow the other side that you'll shrink, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which so is funny because she, once again, she doesn't take any big bites out of it. But she takes a bite, and she grows into, like, the size of a tree. And right. Like, the bird, the bird, the bird is, bird is so mad. Serpent? Serpent! <laughs> it's my eggs, you serpent! That bird has never seen a serpent in her entire life. She has <laughs> no idea what a serpent is. This this thing that she is on isn't anything like a serpent. What are you even talking about, lady? Serpent! A serpent! <laughs> Finally, she she gets and then she gets way tinier, like the size of an acorn, like smaller than an acorn. Uh, and then she uh, figures it out. She's like, I'm just gonna lick it. So she just like <laughs> licks it, right? Which I think is hilarious. Which puts her like right where she wants to and be. And she was like, Oh, perfect. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Poor Alice, man. <laughs> She's been going through it. Yeah. And it's funny because at this next... Oh, no. We still have time before we get there. Never mind. Yeah. Cheshire uh, Cat's next. Yes. So she starts yeah, wandering you're right. through the forest. Is that when we see the signs? This way, that way, this up, way, down, that way. And she's like, way. what? And then Cheshire Cat's like, hmm, some go this way and some go that way. And I just always <laughs> think of him as Winnie the Pooh when I hear him because it's... It is the same. It's the voice same actor. voice. Yeah. So I'm like, Winnie the Pooh, stop it. <laughs> well, and it's funny Sterling because Holloway. so Luis came in right when I was watching this part, and he's like, "Oh God, I hate him. He's so creepy." The Cheshire Cat. Yeah, and I, I was love like, him. "Lou, in this version, he's not as scary." And I didn't think he was mm. like the live action one. He'd be creepy. Right. He's got the pointy yeah. teeth. Super creepy. But in this version, he was obviously like creepier. Yeah, he's creepy, but but, but he's whimsical. He's yeah. Mm-hmm. He definitely it only likes creeps to me cause out like trouble. trouble when, oh you know, yeah, yeah. It He's only creeps me out like when his body like disappeared and he was like unraveling backwards. That yeah. that creeped me out. It creeped me ah. out when he was like holding his head. I was like, put your head back on. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just? Um, mm. I didn't like the way he spoke. I didn't realize that <laughs> only like. 15% of what he says is English. Like, the rest of it is well, all he's, just he's made up gobbledygook. That, he's, he's reciting that He's reciting that, that, poem. that poem that, that yeah. you guys sang, right. Yeah. Yeah, but but that's like, he's saying a lot of it, and a lot of it is not uh, Helpful. intelligible words. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember in, like, what version I've watched or if it was, like, something and I read, but he's, like, so he's like the creep. spirit of Wonderland. Like, he, like, basically just, like, knows everything. Hmm. Is he like that in the live action where he just, like, no. knows mm-hmm. everything? I don't, I don't think know. so. I think he's just, mm. like, a... Just another weird character. No, the caterpillar knew more than he did, like in the live Mm. actions that we've seen from Disney. That's true. Yeah. I like him, though. He's weird. He reminds me of um, Peeves from Harry Potter. (laughs) He's just like this spirit of chaos (laughs) that's just like, hey, let's. Hey, go do this. That'll be funny for me. <laughs> <laughs> so at least, least in the movie version, I, Peeves yeah. was much more rambunctious. I love, I love the, the, books, the part yes. where he's like, "Well, you could go this way or that way," and she's like, "Well, which way do most people go?" And he was like, "This way." 
but there's some there's some people who are mad over or he just says like yeah. there's like the mad hair and the mad hat <laughs> there's some mad people over there and she's like well i don't want to go see some mad people i know he's like you can go this way or see the mad hat or you can go this way and see the march hair and she's like i'm gonna go see the march hair and he's like well he mad too like, <laughs> yeah oh, cool. <sighs> great and also he's with the mad hat i know that was unhelpful <laughs> so she yes. could have gone either way either and way <laughs> and probably wouldn't end up in the same exact place so i thought i was gonna be a lot more annoyed with the mad hatter and the march hair like in this movie but i loved it no i uh, actually enjoyed that scene i loved lot. that scene it was he, so cute move I down move down clean cup clean cup. <laughs> <laughs> i agree i thought he was gonna be annoying and he wasn't he right was, yeah. he was they funny. Were, they were they both, were both weirdos funny. That just like want to drink tea Would all you the like time. Some tea? <laughs> tea, 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 tea. I just like how she's like, I can't have any more. I haven't had any tea. <laughs> okay. Well, because <laughs> it's like almost like she can't imagine the tea. Like they keep doing these things to make the tea appear, and she's like, "What?" Yeah. This, this is another scene that reminds me that it's a dream, where like you're at a place for a specific thing. And the people there are like not letting you do that thing at all. Like, okay, I just came. I just want to sit down and have some tea. Move down, move down. Yeah, <laughs> but cup, I love when they do this. They're like, oh, clean cup, clean cup, move down, move down. <laughs> well, and they do it so many times. It kind of reminds me of um, the movie Hook when the Lost Boys are like drinking or while well, they're eating they're and eating. drinking. Yeah, and they don't. Yeah, food. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they like have to imagine it for it to become real. Yes. And like you said, like she can't. She can't get it working. She can't do it. <laughs> She's like, well, I guess I'm and never going to And even at first when she sat down, they were like, whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you? you you're not allowed to just sit down. Right? This is the Mad Hatter. What table. is this, your birthday or something? Because this is an unbirthday party. <laughs> this is an unbirthday party. Birthday party. <laughs> I, I do love. A very merry birthday to you. <laughs> and it just reminds me so much because that, doodly, 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 you know what I mean? The little cups, they're doing that. I like the whole philosophy. Like, hey, do, 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 live every day like it's your birthday, do, do, you know? Do, do, I will tell you. <laughs> it just reminds me of the ride so much because they literally like plucked that song and put it in there. Oh, oh yeah. yes, and I'm did. like, woohoo, yeah, it's going on teacups. I will tell you that Adeline was not interested in this movie. Okay. Like, there was no. not any times where she like turned around except for this part, and I think it's ah, because like of Disneyland. Music. Yeah, because she turned around and she was like doing hey. the little head thing. Yeah. Like, hey, I know that song. <laughs> like, oh, I've been I've been a part of that song yes. before. I, um, I love the scene. And they just do sing. It's just like, what's an unbirthday? And they're like, well, you get to celebrate it like every day. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, 364 yeah. unbirthdays. It's actually a really nice If song. you cool. think about it. It's, it's, it, it, it. That reminds me of like Hakuna Matata. Like, hey, we're yep. just out here living our best lives right now. All the time. It doesn't matter what they day are, it is. They're just being weird. Doing <laughs> yeah. their thing. And it, it's very Drinking visually appealing. Like tea. that whole scene is very <laughs> visually appealing too. So, but do they even drink their tea? Like I don't know. Do yeah, they, sometimes. I think the Mad Hatter takes a sip or so two he gets a couple at some sips. Point. Yeah. I just love when they're like cutting the teacup. In I half was going to say, the tea's appearing. <laughs> it's like really filling cool. up. I was like, it what fills the? up just right on the uh, the half side. He, gets, he literally gets half a cup of tea. Yes. Oh, I yeah, like he only wants half a cup. He's like, just half a cup. <laughs> I really like that the mouse is just wasted this entire time. <laughs> so <laughs> drunk on tea. I didn't remember the mouse. The mouse is so drunk on tea. Get the tea. jam. Get the jam. <laughs> jam? Yeah, they have to put the jam on his <laughs> nose to like calm him down. It's like smelling salts yes, from a jam. Smell jam. So weird. <laughs> this is very weird I love, and silly the I entire love it time. though. And even Alice is, it's so rational, like, in this. She's, like, trying to explain to them things, and they're just, like, not having it. Like, that's not how that works, She, Alice. like, wants to tell them a story, and they're like, ooh, a story, yes. <laughs> but they don't like her story. They're like, what? No. They're, they're, it's taken away from their tea time, honestly. Clean cup, clean cup, move down. <coughs> I'm just going to start saying that to people when I don't want them to sit by me. I'm like, clean cup, move down. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Alice just gets frustrated at one point because they're not... Uh, they're not giving her any tea, and they're they're being rambunctious and outrageous, and so she leaves their party uh, to let them carry on, which they do. Uh, but but did the white rabbit come in at some point to the tea party or no? Uh, I feel like he, he walked. Did. Yeah, he does. He comes yes. in and he's like, "I'm late, I'm late," and they're like, "Oh, sit down, have a cup of tea." Yes, because like, no, I don't they have time. Take, they take his watch and <gasps> they destroy they it. They butter it. <laughs> oh, I remember the butter. Watch. They destroyed his watch, <laughs> yes. man. So then he, oh, and they're like, what did they say? It's two days slow or something? Yeah, I was watching two days slow. 
and he's just watching them destroy his poor watch. Which yeah. makes me sad. I wish they, I kind of wish that they would have done all that stuff, like totally broken it, buttered it, and then it would have worked correctly. Right, like, That yeah. would have been extra like, oh, no, funny. You're, you're right on time, dude. Don't <laughs> worry about it. <laughs> Look, now you're on time. Check this out. <laughs> Boom. That would have been funny. Yes. But I also appreciate that they totally decimated it like right. is so done just destroyed just take out look this watch has gears in it <laughs> that's what's wrong with it. that's your problem right there uh so yeah alice takes off after the white rabbit again and then she goes <coughs> she goes into the forest where she starts oh it gets real depressing yeah so this is this is like the sad part of the movie she goes to the forest there's the the glasses with legs that hangs out she there she doesn't want whimsy anymore yeah she's she's had enough this is too much. She well, needs some normalcy. This is what I was going to say. This was the time where I'm like, honestly, Louise, this is the time for her to cry. Okay. <laughs> like, I would be crying mm-hmm. by now. Like, this has been a really bad day. Yeah. Like, <laughs> There's those. Also, uh, when you see some of the cool creatures, though, like the shovel birds and the accordion owl. Then there's those little, I think they're the moth, moth graves. Is that the what moms. they're called? The moths. The the mim, mim the moms the moms moms the, the little legs with hair mom yeah rafts. The mom rafts that's what they call they, yeah. they're just they're don't putting a sign that's like don't step on the mom rafts or something yeah and then they they form into a little arrow into where she's supposed to go and so she follows that and the path yeah the oh, path and then there's a dog sweeping it away <laughs> i like the sweeping dog he's really that actually cool. is a really cool he's got a job dog. to do and he's doing it very well Okay. Except for when she gets in his way, and then she ha- he has to move out of the way. <laughs> he has to go around go her, go around her, sweep use, behind him, use his cute little sweep in front sweep tail. <laughs> but then she's really sad, and she sings some sad song. She sings a sad song while she's like, on a rock. "I have really good advice, but I never take it." I never it's take like, it. Wow, that's like every college student's problem right there, Alice. <laughs> yeah. You got it, girl. <laughs> I wrote down in my notes. I said, "I'm going to assume that Alice has been wandering around this forest for like." Six weeks, like just forever. She's just gone and going and going and going. That would suck. She has no idea how long she's been there, I don't think. No. Because it's just dark and just bleh. Yeah, just awful. So um, I would cry. So she's sad. She's singing. Um, she's realizing that she needs to have a little bit more common sense about her, <laughs> about her actions and stuff like that. And then the Cheshire Cat comes back in. Uh... To tell her what to do. She's like, I want to go home. And he was like, home. He doesn't know how to get there either, but he says that she can go see the queen. And she's like, oh, the queen, the queen. Right. So I'll go see the queen. And so the Cheshire Cat just opens a path directly to the queen. Well, he's like, you can go that way, but I like to take the shortcut. Yes. He opened up a shortcut, like a portal. And I, I thought the queen, I remember her being way creepier than she was in this movie. Like, she was... Like, she was kind of crazy, but, like, she didn't have as creepy of a face as I thought she would. Yeah. Versus, like, when you see her in the parks, like, she's freaking creepy. Like, her face looks way scarier. Sure. Yeah, I remember her being a little bit more evil. Like, she's 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 definitely evil. She's, like, always trying to uh, cut people's heads off and stuff like that. Yeah. But, but, it's but not for the most part, her personality is just, like, annoying. It's about me. And yeah. Yeah, and she's very selfish and petulant. She's just, mm-hmm. like, she's, like, I'm, we're going to play croquet now. And I'm going to win. <laughs> well, definitely, it's kind of funny, it's though. It's definitely yes. always <laughs> her way. So first, Alice is going through this bush maze to get to the um, castle. The castle. And she sees the cards painting the roses red, which we're is one of my favorite red. songs. Too. That's we're funny. Painting the roses red. red. Yeah. Uh, it sucks for me because <laughs> 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 I planted white. <laughs> and now I'm an ugly blight. <laughs> Uh, I like it, and, she, and Alice for. is just like, "Oh, okay, well, I'll help you." <laughs> like, that's your first problem, the Alice. Is right. Yeah, what are you doing? Why is this the first thing you're you're Thought glomming you were trying onto? Trying to go home <laughs> is using paint on flowers, <laughs> and also these cards are messy. They're getting the entire grass all red. <laughs> it's just paint everywhere. They're not doing a great job. Part of the song literally says, "Don't." spill a drop and i'm like you're spilling <laughs> it everywhere <laughs> it's everywhere <laughs> but then i like where all the cards come in so you like hear the horn oh like that's the, the other phantasmic I, I mean fan, uh fantasia esque scene oh yeah yeah where they all come in mm-hmm no, no. How does that? How does that one go? Andre is enjoying himself. 
But I like how they do like their deck flipping. Like yeah. how they yes. come out and then they flip out. Now they're four. Then they flip out and they're eight. And like each time they're a different color. Mm-hmm. And it's cool. It was very visually like stimulating. A, it's like synchronized swimming, but with cards and on grass. I didn't remember. <laughs> yes. I didn't Love remember it. the king. So like the queen is like. <laughs> and now we finally know the white rabbit's the job, right? Like he's like the announcer person. He's like, the queen is up and everybody gets down. And he's like, uh, and the king. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember being I'm so, he's so tiny. And the king. Couldn't we have a trial? Just a little one. Hmm. He's so cute. I love Please. him. <laughs> Please, dear. Please, dear. I, I assume this is her husband. <laughs> well, her yeah, tiny it's little the husband. King. I know, but man, he, this is a bad relationship as well. This is not treated very well, the king. He's so tiny. Why is he so tiny? I think that next year for Halloween, Dougie should be the king and Michelle, you could be the <laughs> queen. The queen. That'd be funny. I'll Andre. be the white rabbit. Oh, okay. I was going <laughs> to save it like the Mad Hatter or something. Oh, yeah, but that works too. <laughs> well, be the white rabbit. That way you can stay next to the queen you know <laughs> that works yeah, I guess so. hilarious that queen and now we know why the right rabbit was freaking out so much about being late because <laughs> this lady is chopping your head chopping off yeah so heads. she does hide your heads like literally immediately she's like you painted my roses off of their head and then the both poor off thing. with her head they never show it or anything but i'm assuming they no. got their heads chopped off but uh yeah she sort of says it a lot and they're all very scared i like when the cards with the paint <laughs> they're like no, dude, she'll cut off your head. And then they like do the neck, <laughs> the, the the finger across your neck motion, but with the paintbrush. And so the paint gets all over their neck and it's just very evocative of blood running down their chest. So it's then scary. I think um, Alice was like an, accom- an accomplice, right? Because she was there too. And then she was like, what are you? But then she figures out it's she's a girl. Uh-huh. And she's like, a girl. So Emily, what is that face? That muffin <laughs> wasn't great, right? I don't know what happened to that muffin. Yeah, oh, the, the other ones were fine. I think the blueberries, are maybe. I think I think I'm gonna get like a turn, like uh, a good rancid. dinosaur. Ooh, you know how fermented like fermented yeah. fruit? Nah, bro, those are fermented. Like, <laughs> <laughs> woo. Well, then have the other one. The woo! Other one. The other okay. one's fine. <laughs> so anyway, ate like three of those, so he's gonna <laughs> yeah. he's gonna Audrey be done. He's good to go. No, no, Louis. Louis. Oh. I'm not Louise, Remember. Anyways, who knows? <laughs> Whoever you are. Mm. So Alice is an accomplice, but then once the queen figures out she's a girl, she's like, "Oh, you're a girl." Okay. I don't know what's so cool about being a girl in this world, but apparently it's pretty cool to be a girl. Well, if you think about it, there's not many human-esque characters. Right. Like she is, the king is, and But that's it. And the Mad Hatter and the No, no, the Mad Hatter. The Mad Hatter. Not, not the March Hare. The March Hare. The March Hare's bunny. And I guess Tweedledee and Tweedledum, I guess. But oh, yeah, so sh- uh, I'm not really <laughs> sure what they are. I think they're eggs. They're wax statues. Um, I guess. So yeah, so it makes sense that uh, the queen is a little bit enamored with Alice because she's a girl, and the queen is probably the only other girl that's been there yeah. in quite some time. So she's like cool with it, and she's like, "I'm just gonna challenge you to a game of croquet." Yeah. And uh, the cro- a whimsy croquet, croquet is played with uh, a hedgehog and, and a flamingo and a flamingo, but they're weird colors. Yes, they're odd. They're odd colors, and the flamingo is the the mallet, and the the hedgehog is the ball, obviously. And then the cards are the. The cards are the the yeah the hoops. That you Which is so funny because babe, I don't think you've ever played croquet until you met me, huh? No, I pl- I played. Oh, but so, not a lot. Uh, we play croquet. Is it a real game? <laughs> it is a yeah, real game. We play croquet at my grandma's house all the time when we're there. So I lo- I like croquet a lot, but it is it at Nan's house? Yes, at yes, Nan's, at Nan's house. house. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we play croquet Nan's in her backyard. backyard. It's really fun, and my family gets very competitive about it. But um, that was such a funny scene. Yes, <laughs> like with the dodo bird trying to use Alice as oh the croquet. God. Yeah, so when Alice's thing. turn is up, oh the flamingo, the flamingo oh, goes the flamingo, limp right. at first, which is very funny. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to get it to be straight and hit the hedgehog and, he's like, and stuff. <laughs> She's like, "It's gonna cut off your head, don't you care?" You're like, ah, ha, ha, that'd be funny. <laughs> 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 and then. Um, <laughs> And then it so uses funny. her, right? It picks her up. It like picks her happened? up, and she's yeah, like the queen laying. thinks it's so funny. She's he's like, like <laughs> she's laying on the floor, and her legs are up, and he's holding her <laughs> legs, and she's just like, "This is stupid." Oh my god, flamingo! That was very funny. Get it and then she finally uses like the top of his head, like she just holds like his <laughs> yeah. neck and his head, and, just hits and then hits the, the little gerbil thing. Mm-hmm. So basically, the cards move so that the queen wins, right? But I can't remember why she got mad at Alice because it. Why did she get? Why did she want to chop Alice's head off? Um, I think Alice starts mouthing off. Yeah, she does. <laughs> no, no, it's the Cheshire Cat. Remember the Cheshire Cat? Oh shows yeah, up the and Cheshire she's Cat. She's like, there's a cat. And she's like, what cat? Yeah, and then the queen. She should know. She should not try to like right. 
mess with the chess. And then I think she tries to get her, and she like falls over. The right? Cheshire Cat like flips her over, and her she thinks it's Alice. Show, and all the cards are on it. <laughs> they, they surround her. And they're like, "Oh, we can't let the <laughs> the Queen's bloomers be out. <laughs> Not like this." Then she wants to chop Alice's then head. Then she's off. trying to chop yeah. off Alice's head, and she sends all the cards after her. Alice has to run away, and then she runs and runs and runs. And no, no, the trial. The no, king has a trial. requests oh, a mini trial. That's right. Then the trial happens. Which I didn't remember <laughs> the trial part. Neither did I. That was actually really funny. The trial is in Kingdom Hearts as well, and you have to go out and find evidence and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, the trial was funny. I wrote, <laughs> I didn't write anything about the trial except this trial is a farce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, write that down. That's very important. <laughs> well, yeah, so they keep calling in witnesses, quote unquote, for people who weren't even Friggin there. March Hare, like yeah. Mad the Mad Hatter, the March Hare, and someone else. Um, the, they were the last two. Was it the Dodo? Is no. He, is this when he comes back? No. I think it was. I don't remember. I don't remember either. But there were like three witnesses and none of them were actually there like when that particular thing happened. So they're giving them all this evidence. <laughs> and she's like, oh, that's really good evidence. And it's <laughs> just not. It's not. It's just awful. Um, and then she somehow, oh, she finds the mushroom in her pocket and she grows oh, again. Oh, yeah, that's right. And they and all they get, get scared. so scared of her. And she's just like, you're fat. And you're <laughs> yeah, she's stupid. Fat <laughs> and she's like totally mouthing off. But then it starts wearing off. And I think it's because she ate them both at the same time. Right. Yeah. Like she just started like shoving them she in her mouth. Much. And then the Cheshire chess cat's like, yeah, I think you just called her fat. <laughs> <laughs> and Alice is like, it's my time to run now. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, so she runs yeah, so she back runs. through the entire movie. Basically, she goes uh, back to the beach and back to the, the, the sea. And she hangs out with the doorknob again. And then... Uh, through the door and then the door's like yo you're sleeping like wake up yeah wake up well she tries to go through the door but she can't go through the door because it's it's still still locked locked. and then all the people are running towards her but then yeah she wakes up and she's like whoo (laughs) <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> and then closing credits. I was like, wow. Yeah, that's how that it happens, right? It. Like, usually, like, when you're falling, falling, and then you wake up. So this thing chasing, 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 they're about to get you, and then you wake up. Yeah, yeah before she. Sometimes. Perished. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's the, that's the end of the movie. And uh, it really is the end because she's just like, oh, man. Yeah, she wakes up, and then the teacher lady's like, Lego? Alice, <laughs> let's get it together. <laughs> do better next time for your next lesson. Like, All right, cool. And Alice is like, okay, let's okay. Let's go home, I guess. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to be subjected to that again. <laughs> Hi, Dinah Cat. Let's go. Yeah. Dinah. <coughs> so it's interesting. Like, now, the more that we're talking about it, like, I like it more. There are still scenes where I'm like, no, no thanks. Right. Like, I just yeah. don't need it. But it is a good movie. There's a couple scenes that I wouldn't mind them being omitted. It would have made the movie much, much shorter. But I think it would have made it make more sense to me. Right. It even could though have been a bit more of a coherent yeah, storyline. But I don't know if that's what, I don't know if they care if it makes sense. Right. Do you know what they, I mean? They already cut out a bunch of other weird stuff from the books. Um that they could have put in as as little scenes, but uh, and I think, I think they they cut a bunch of songs as well. Like I I read that, um, acceptable. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I read I read that. So there's so many poems in the book that they wanted to turn a bunch of those poems and limericks into and songs, whatnot yeah. all into songs. So like 30 songs were written for this movie, Whoa. and, and uh, only a, only a few of them were used. I don't need 30 which songs. Is, yeah, which is which is probably a good no thanks. Yeah, good that's amount. Okay. This this movie already has. According to the soundtrack, twenty three tracks. Is that like with uh probably the background? I yeah, with that's background music and stuff. Yeah, that's with background music and stuff. All right. Well, geez. Twinkle, twinkle, little rat. How I wonder what oh, you're at. Bat. Oh, it's bat. Excuse me. Of course, I should remember that. That was used in the Batman movie, Batman Forever. Oh, that's who the third <coughs> person was. That was a witness. He just oh, that's the mouse. He's like twinkle, twinkle, little bat. <laughs> and everyone's like, like the jam, oh, the jam. And they're John. like twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of, a lot of weird stuff. Um, do we have any Easter eggs? Mm. I mean, it, this whole movie's an Easter egg, right? Um, I mean, yeah, every time the white rabbit is seen and with his watch, it's always at twelve twenty-five. Oh, interesting. I don't know what the significance of twelve twenty-five is. He's probably supposed to be there at twelve twenty. He's late, <laughs> or maybe twelve thirty. <laughs> yeah, or no, yeah. What is he? Twenty-five minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <caramba. laughs> oh man, he's gonna get his he's head. Gotta go off. make friends with that timekeeper. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Okay, so Catherine Beaumont. Catherine Beaumont, Beaumont, yeah. Beaumont um, was the voice of Alice, and she did so much live action. So, I mean, we know we know this, but, like, in old 
um, which they, they do this still. Mm-hmm. But in the older movies, they would do like almost like full on live actions of yeah. the scene and then they would animate what they're looking at. It's almost exactly how it's mm-hmm. done now where yeah. people wear like motion capture suits. But back then they would just like put them in outfits and they'd, they'd act throughout the scene and then they would film all of that and then they just animate. On, either on top of it or right alongside mm-hmm. it. So it was interesting because she voiced Alice at 13 mm-hmm. and then she revoiced Alice for Kingdom Hearts when yes. she was 64. Much older. Whoa. Oh, holy yeah. moly. That's but uh, did she still have that same kind of voice? It sounded the same to me in, in the game. Wow. Andre, oh, Andre is, was convinced. Which is wild, but uh, yeah, it sounded like Alice. It sounded like Alice from this movie, you know? I mean, she has a very distinct voice. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, you can tell it's Alice. She yeah. did Alice, and she's also done uh, Wendy from Peter Pan mm-hmm. and uh, a couple other things. Which, I, I mean, they're wispy voices. So, I mean, if your voice already has that timbre, yeah. then yeah. it's easier to do. Um, this is an interesting thing, and I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure how true this and the next one are, but okay. it, it, I, I saw this a couple different times. They're saying that Lewis Carroll... Um, suffered from a rare neurological disease that causes like weird hallucinations okay. sometimes, and that the disease was later uh, later on named or or nicknamed the Alice in Wonderland syndrome. So I don't know if that's uh, like how true that is. Maybe okay, we'll look yeah. up a little bit for the um, for the, mm, the crack. But I thought that was interesting. And then similarly, who knows how much. Um, what do you call it? Validity this one has, but it says the expression mad as a hatter originated in the 1800s because hatters would routinely use um, mercuric nitrate to treat the felt um, that they made their hats out of. Oh. Yes. And then they would, you, <laughs> then you would develop like dementia you'd and be like putting other this hat on your head because all you're day. literally putting mercuric nitrate on your head. Wow. Um, and then they would be getting mercury poisoning, poisoning, and then it would be like mad hatter syndrome. Very interesting. I believe that one because of Mad the way that hatter. exactly. So wow. the way that they're treating their hats is actually making like you yeah, cray cray. Yeah. Oh no, that's Which very interesting. Kinda interesting. <laughs> because so the Mad Hatter, he's a, he's another one of those super popular characters from mm-hmm. this from this movie slash book. Um, I like and him he, a lot. The Mad Hatter is a Batman villain. Uh, there's a character in in Batman who who looks and dresses just like the Mad Hatter, and he's obsessed with this girl named Alice, and he keeps trying to like kidnap her and, hmm. and do weird stuff. But also, he he's a mad scientist, so he implants like mind control devices into all of the hats that he makes, and he like puts them on top of like thugs' heads, and then they're his like minions. <laughs> oh my gosh! So he's like, it's like the hat from uh, Meet the Robinsons. Robinson. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's just like that hat. Yeah, <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Well, there you go. I th- mm-hmm. I think that's actually quite I like fabulous. It. I like yeah. it. Um, was this movie popular when it came out? Like, I know it's popular now. Like, yeah, this is one of the most popular adaptations of um of Alice in Wonderland ever. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll I'll spoil it. We, it has a seventy nine percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Um. The consensus from Rotten Tomatoes is a good introduction to Lewis Carroll's classic Alice in Wonderland, both some of the Disney car- canon's most surreal and twisted images. So I think, I think that people kind of glommed on to this when it came out because it was different. You yeah. know, it was it, it was, was very so different. Different. It was different and weird and and abstract um, from a lot of the stuff that was coming out from Disney. No, then I mean, like yeah. the, the weirdest thing that came out back then was probably like Pinocchio, you know? Oh, Pinocchio. Compared to compared to this. And this is way weirder than Pinocchio. No, Pinocchio <laughs> is Ooh. weird to Okay, me. so I found out, hold on. I know that I'm 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 messing up the the flow, but I wanted to learn about Alice in Wonderland syndrome yes. if it was really a thing. So apparently, it's often called Alice in Wonderland syndrome because of the effect that it can have. It's a neurological condi- neuropsychological condition that affects your perception, mm. making you feel extremely big or extremely small. So oh. that's Whoa. the Alice part. Um, and it can also it, but I think it's called mac macro macro M-A-C-R-O-P-S-I-A. Macropsia. Macropsia. So that is, is, again, it's affecting your visual perception of your surroundings and yourself. Um, so it's making you feel like uh, like like different in comparison Bigger, to other smaller, things. Smaller, farther away, mm. closer. Exactly. So you're going to have like m- crazy visual migraines. You're going to have like wow. all of these like head and neural physio- physiological type that issues. Um, and obviously they're nicknaming it Alice in Wonderland syndrome because she does that so much. Because that's exactly what's really happening to this poor girl. It could be called Ant-Man syndrome if you, For <laughs> real, <laughs> if you want right? to update it. Um, <laughs> But isn't that interesting? So yeah. there you go. 
that's something that is is actual. <sighs> it's rare, just so everyone knows. It's true. Yes, it's I'm reading here that it's also known as Todd syndrome. Yes, or dimet dimetropsia. No yeah, right. they have all kinds of names for yeah. this thing. Interesting. But it's probably all like the different little subsects. Like right. if you only feel like you're getting bigger or smaller or you're only feeling like yeah. this hallucinogen piece of it. Yeah. Holy moly. Wow. That's that's the God, we got scary real fast. Yeah, terrible thing to have. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No thank you. Um okay, so this movie came out at, a, at an interesting time. Uh its budget was I believe 2 million. Okay. Um in its theatrical run, it grossed 2.4 million uh, uh, domestically, and I think the uh, its entire box office came back to 5.6 million dollars. But That's you know, in 1951. Good. Getting two million dollar return off your uh, two million dollar movie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty real pretty acceptable. Good. Yes. <laughs> so, it, so it did very well. Um, and yeah, as we said, it was it was critically acclaimed, and and uh, some critics were like, "Whoa," <laughs> Did, didn't like it. But but for the most part, people were were happy with its um, its oddball nature, you know. Well, and I think like like I was saying a little bit earlier, I think it was like the time period where more abstract thought was being accepted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they're not going to say like it's witchcraft because a woman can read kind of a thing. Right, it's yeah, like, exactly. it's like, oh, I see like where these abstract concept concepts come from. So I think it was like people were ready for that. Yeah. And honestly, compared to the book, this movie ain't that weird. Like I remember <laughs> when I was a kid, a kid in elementary school, I tried to read through the looking glass and I think I got through like four chapters and was like, nope, mm. like I'm done. Yeah. Mm. Cause it gets confusing. Mm -hmm, it does. Up you have down, to just suspend all there. the disbelief possible. Well, and I think it was like <laughs> honestly kind of a hard book to read for like a third grader. Oh, but, for sure. You know. right. Cause uh, it's got a lot of odd concepts in it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Um, Right, you ready to give your rating? Yes. Am I ready? What am I going to give this movie? Do, 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 um, I think I'm going to give this movie an 8.0. Uh, it's it. <laughs> so when we were watching it, it was making me laugh like a lot. <laughs> I was I was laughing at almost everything that was happening. Every scene had something for me to glob onto that I thought was like really funny. The caterpillar was funny. The the March Hare is funny. The dodo bird is is ridiculous. I. <coughs> So I enjoyed it all, and I I love the music in this movie. Um, it's funny because like on my iTunes, I have like the soundtrack for this or whatever, and so it's titled Alice in Wonderland soundtrack or or, or whatnot. So mm -hmm. sometimes when I just hit play and I think I'm shuffling through my music, it just starts <laughs> with Alice in Wonderland. It's the very first music that ever comes up in my iTunes. So I've heard this music a lot just accidentally. That's hilarious. <laughs> mm. it's, and it's mostly A E I O A U. Oh, I was no. wondering why you were singing things like that. I was like, how does he know? <laughs> that's, that's the that's the, a, that's the first thing that's that the pops a up. Title in that in that soundtrack. So yeah, I I enjoyed the music in this in this a lot. Okay. It's not just for nostalgia, but also because it's been popping up in my iTunes for years. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm so going to yeah, give 8. it an eight as well. It's a good movie. There are things I don't like about it, but it's not like because the movie's bad. It's just because I don't like it. Yeah, that's just you not You know what I mean? So, right. yeah. <laughs> so, I can't, <laughs> I can't say tea. like it's bad because I don't like those certain scenes. You know, I just yeah. don't like those characters per se. Um, it's very visually appealing. Like the colors were very beautiful. I don't know if we were watching like a remastered version or whatnot. Yes, but, but I, I mean, it looks beautiful. I, I associate myself with different scenes that I like really, really like and stuff like that. So it's good. I'll watch it again. Like I'll probably will watch it again pretty recently because I haven't seen it in forever. And now I'm like, oh, I kind of want to watch it again just to like see how I would feel about it watching it for a second time. So eight, Emily. I'm going to give it a 7.5. 7 I liked 5. it. Wasn't huge, but I liked it. Um, the songs for me were hit or miss. I either really mm. liked them yeah. or I really didn't like them. Sure. Um, and that was more just like, not really content wise. It was more like the melodies. Yeah. I was just like, no, nah, this one's annoying. <laughs> or the other one was really good. Um, and But there were some really funny moments to it. I enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, so I, I thought it was good. I liked it. It was mm. it was cool. I don't All know right. if I'll be watching it again anytime soon, right. but 
I own it, so I guess I should use my DVD and my <laughs> Blu-ray, yeah. so I'll be watching it. <laughs> Go for it. All right, yeah, that's been uh, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Love the way your lips move when you <laughs> sing that. <laughs> uh, okay, so our next movies... Well, wait, where, when, when is this coming out? This is coming out on the 26th. Oh, Andre. <laughs> we <laughs> have had, this right. all figured all out. Down. Okay, so we're changing things up here at the Walt Vault uh, slightly. You're going to get a little bit less of us uh, than, than previously. We're going to s- be switching to two. Every other week for Yeah, month. every other week. Bi-weekly. Two movies per month. We're going to be a bi-weekly podcast, and that is just due to uh, life, life circumstances. Emily's having another baby. They're probably moving. We're getting married, and I'm getting my master's degree. So we're all busy. and Andre is like showing it up Andre all the time. Show, show, shows I'm every I'm week. Stand, I'm stand up and, um, so yeah. So so we're going to be reducing the amount of Walt Vault that's coming to you, but that doesn't mean that the the quality is going to suffer. We're gonna nah, the quality might good. be better because we might not have to throw some of those sucky movies in. Man. <laughs> that's true. You might get bam, good, bam, another good one, another one. I was gonna say one. that, so I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> yeah. So guess what? You, you might not have to listen to in uh, I don't Haunted know. Haunted Mansion. Yeah. 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 Haunted, Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion. Nah. <laughs> yes. So the next movie that we are going to be discussing. Uh, oh, I'm excited. For the beginning of December is Big oh. Hero 6. Big Hero 6. Yeah. We've been talking about doing this movie for a while, um, and I'm very excited because, like Andre, I think I've only seen it once in the theater and once when it came out, and I don't have it engraved in my brain, but I know it's good. This is a superhero movie, dude. It's a superhero movie. It's a Walt Disney movie, and the reason I bring that up is because it's, credited at this moment for having the most easter eggs and i think that it's cool that it came out from disney versus yeah. pixar mm-hmm. and but it's pixar quality for right. reals yeah. for, it's, for it's, reals it's i'm so excited yes yeah, we're so going to san fran so san fran san fran so- 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 yeah and i like Boy. that who who did the music for this um mm. was it giacchino Giacchino. Michael no. no 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 um like the the band that did it um, oh was it fallout boy yeah I kind of, I kind of like me some Fallout Boy. It's reminiscent of a good time yeah. in my life. Mm. I'm not it's, saying they're like fabulous good, or anything, it's but good, it's a good movie. I'm excited. I'm also kind of. Um, uh, are they making a TV show? I think they're making a TV show. Yeah, so they're they're supposed to be doing a, a, a an animated show. I, uh, they might have already come out. I'm not I'm not even sure. I just want to meet Baymax. I didn't get to meet him <laughs> in the parks when he was there. Doing an animated show, and I oh, believe so they're cute. supposed to be doing a sequel at some point, but I'm not I'm not positive about it. Bad danger, bad danger. You guys haven't seen this movie enough no. to know what Fred's Angels no, is. No, I don't, we'll no. I don't even remember. Time, no. Okay, yeah. Join All us, right. Join us next time. So. Uh, it's important to note, though, that this. You're a healthcare professional. <laughs> 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 that this movie, at, excuse me, this episode will be coming out two weeks from today. Yes. So not two weeks, not next it's week. Not next week. December 10th is when you'll be yeah, able to yeah, hear yeah. the Big December Hero 6 10th. episode. Yeah. Fancy. So gird your loins, go back, listen to some old episodes in the meantime, or whatever you got to do. Gird your, gird your loins. loins. Or you know what you could do is you can go to patreon.com slash the wall vault, sign up for as little as a dollar or more and get access to our app show, A Crack in the Vault. You can get all up in those cracks. And you can listen to so much extra content because uh, they've been out there and I know you ain't listening because we have a certain number of patrons and those are the only people allowed to access that that show. So go there, do that. <laughs> it's only a dollar, super cheap. Uh, if you want to keep up with and us, it's funny. It's much funnier <laughs> and than it's, this. It's, it's 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 we get way sillier. You think Alice was weird? <laughs> <laughs> we get sillier, we get dirtier. Who knows what's happening on the crack? Uh, in the meantime, if you want to <laughs> keep up with us, you can go to pay or not. Well, yes, you can go to patreoncom blah, blah, but you can go to uh, social media. We are on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at the Walt Vault Pod. Go there, send us a message. We'll read it on the show. You can send us an email to contact at thewaltvaultpod.com, and I'll read that message on the show. Send me an email, you guys. I love emails. Um, you can do all of that. If you want to help us out, you can subscribe on any podcast platform. We're everywhere. We're on Stitcher and TuneIn and Google Play. and uh, Oh, I, I don't think I ever put us on Spotify. I got to do that. Uh, YouTube and iTunes. If you're on YouTube, uh, leave a comment down below. Maybe we'll read that message on the show as well. 
Uh, that's it for us, you guys, this week for Alice in Wonderland. We will see you next time for some Big Hero 6 goodness. The vault is now closed.